there is over a million aeroglyph walls in Egypt. Thousands and thousands of aeroglyph walls in Egypt. In the temples, in the tombs, everywhere. They tell us how they made love, they tell us how they eat, they tell us how they went to the washroom, they tell us everything about their life, everything. Not one of those walls mentioned building the pyramids. <laughs> what? They forgot? <laughs> You're talking about something that would have taken a huge effort. You'd think they would have put at least a little wall somewhere saying, oh, by the way, we built the pyramids. <laughs> no. None of that. In fact, the archaeologists say not only that the pyramids built, uh, that the Egyptians built the pyramids, but they say that they built them as tombs. Okay. What's the evidence? Zero. Zilch. Not one, not one pyramid was ever found to host a mummy. Not one mummy was ever found in a pyramid. Not one. And I'm not just talking about Egypt. I'm talking about all around the world. And it's funny because you know how they do all these like historic, you know, history channel and all this stuff. You know, they have all these nice documentary. And they show you where they found the pyramids and the, you know, and the, and the tombs and all this and Tutankhamen and all this. And then they splice and they cut directly into the pyramids. So you think the mummies were found in the pyramids. But in fact, the mummies were found, most of the king's mummies, were found in the king's valley, far from the pyramids. Some of the pyramids, they had to dynamite their way into the pyramid. They couldn't find an entrance. When they got inside the pyramid, there was the sarcophagus, the so-called sarcophagus in the middle. It had a slab. Some of them had slabs that were like 40 tons slabs sealing the sarcophagus. They would unseal it, pull the slab off, still no mummy. What was their conclusions? Grave robber. <laughs> <laughs> Those grave robbers, they were unbelievable. They, they just walked through the walls because they had to dynamite their way in. So the, those grave robbers got there before. They must have walked through the walls, got in there, picked up the 40-ton slab on top of the sarcophagus, pulled all the stuff out, including all the bones and everything else, which, you know, wonder what they would do with, and then, you know, closed it back up, resealed it, right, just to make sure they didn't disturb anything, and then <laughs> walked back out with all of this stuff. This doesn't make sense. Now, there's other things that don't make sense. There is nowhere on these pyramids that it says, I built this for my tomb. I was born then and I died then. You think if you built such a great monument, at least you put your name on it. <laughs> you know, that's all logical. Pyramids were not tombs. Pyramids were not built by Egyptians. No Egyptian text talks about the Egyptian building the pyramids. The texts do talk about monuments, enormous monuments being built. And who they say built them was the sun gods. The Mayans, the Incas, the Chinese, the Japanese, all cultures that have these buildings, none of them say we built it. 
all of them say the sun gods taught us how to build, how to talk, how to write, how to do all this stuff. Go ahead. There's no hieroglyphs inside the pyramid. And Lord knows that the Egyptians put hieroglyphs everywhere. Mm -hmm. So why didn't they not write inside the pyramids? You know? So those are all huge contradictions to the concept that the Egyptians or the Mayans or the Incas or the Chinese or so on built their pyramids. See what I'm saying? But what is it, like other examples, is uh, this puppy, <laughs> the Sphinx. Most people think that, this, that the Sphinx is built. The Sphinx is not built. The Sphinx was carved. Uh, the Sphinx was carved right out of the enclosure of the Giza Plateau. Now when you look at the paws of the Sphinx, you might notice that there's like brick-like structures on it, so it looks like it's built. Those are repairs that were done later in history. But the Sphinx was carved, and actually there's evidence that the head of the Sphinx was recarved. It used to be a lion's head, but it was recarved into um, a pharaoh's head by one of the pharaohs. However, there is erosion patterns on the Sphinx that is a telltale sign that the Sphinx had to be carved when there was a lot of rain uh, hitting it because of the erosion on it. We know when the last time this area had a lot of rain. And that was approximately 10,000 years ago, which matches the Orzarian Temple at Abydos. Now, these blocks here consist of the um, Sphinx Temple. They're the blocks that were removed from the side of the Sphinx to carve the Sphinx out. Now, if you were removing blocks from the Sphinx enclosure to build a temple in front with the blocks, would you use a 100-pound block, 500-pound block, maybe even a 1,000-pound block? Even like three or four tons pound block. That would start becoming a problem with our current technology, especially in the sand. And especially if you gotta stack them. <laughs> okay? But the ancient Egyptian and or whoever ten thousand years ago built this didn't remove a hundred ton uh, 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 a hundred pounds block. They removed 200 tons block. And we know that they were removed from the enclosure because the stratification of the layers of rock matches uh, where they were removed from. And you can actually tell which rock went, came from exactly where in the enclosure. 200 tons. See? This is a little person here. See what I mean? Yeah. It's not trivial. You don't just grab a 200 ton block with your buddies and move it over there. The current most... Uh, we actually at this time lift about 200 ton with the largest land crane on earth. And we move it only from a truck bed into a boat. We can't roll with it. We can't go and like move it around the sand. And certainly we can't 
stack them on top of each other to make a temple. 10,000 years ago, somebody was moving 200 ton block with ease. I think this is fantastic, you know, because this is about our true history. This is about what happened on this planet prior to our current history, prior to our current thinking. Look at this statue. Ramses II, when they found this statue, it was laying like this.